Welcome to skyblasttv.com, an online world TV source. Today we are having a program called Security and Crime. My name is Energy Ichinua and we have here with us. I was Sonny Chikunwa. Thank you. You're welcome. So today's topic will be apprehending insecurity in our society. So, on a recent day, please what are the effectiveness of um, roadblock in our society? Thank you. Roadblocks they are very, very effective. And it's a strong measure to apprehend insecurities. When you mount roadblocks, it will give a strong signal to criminals and other perpetrators that they cannot go free on the way. Because when you get to some highways or state roads and see heavy roadblocks, it will signal to you that you cannot just beat these people and go scuffle handed. So you must be sure of where you are going, knowing to her that by the time you get to that roadblock, they may search you. And if you are searched and you are caught with things that are illicit or that implicate you, they will get you arrested <laughs> and possibly prosecute the person. Oh, that is interesting. Very, very interesting. <laughs> hey, thank you very much, sir. All right, but please, what are the control measures of criminality through food block? Just like what I told you, criminalities can highly be controlled through roadblocks. Because when you give signals to people who are on the roadblock, you are giving them knowledge about, look at people who are coming to meet them, or possibly what they will see why they are at that roadblock. It will certainly help to calm crimin criminals. So it's important that when you have roadblocks, it is a strong measure that will help the society to be free from being suddenly attacked by either criminals or kidnappers or assassins. So I think it's a strong measure and we need it in our society. Exactly. The strong one. Thank you, sir. All right, Paul. Please do not check an investigative approach through roadblock. It's very, very strong. Uh, people, intelligent personnel, who are trained in the police, in the Navy, in the military, that join the old block exercise. I think we should give them kudos for doing a strong job. Most times when you get to, to some of the road blocks, you see them stop some vehicles, cross-check what they have. Maybe it's vehicle conveying some items that maybe they suspected that this item could be illicit materials. Like last time, uh, narcotic items we are, we are caught at the border. If there's no checking po checkpoint that place, there's no place they will, they will get it. Yes, so yes. through the uh, checkpoint, they will search people, they will control them, they will ask them some necessary questions before they allow them to go. So with that, it will contribute to free the society from insecurity. Okay, I see. Okay, but well, do you know the rapid response through the blood security system? Yes, I think the thing has even helped me because without the roadblock, you will not be able to know or get prompt information on the whereabouts of all these criminals perpetrating evil in the society. Okay, now, like, if you don't have such a rapid arrangement how to pass information. Maybe you are pushing criminals from one road to the other. With measures of roadblocks, you can give them information they are coming towards this area. Look at the vehicle they have, or look at their number, or look at the, the type of clothes they wear, and look at exactly how they look like. With that rapid information, the roadblock personnel, they will quickly readjust and be waiting and searching out for those criminals. So it's a good one when you have rapid response through which roadblocks will yield results, massive results for that matter, to secure us in our community, of course in our society. Thank you very much, Honorable. So do you know the helps of roadblocks to dislodge criminalities in our society? 
criminals and those are not the traitors. Those are the that they cannot go free those on the way. When they mount those things strategically to block the road, it will not be easy for criminals to jump those barriers and run away. Most times, when they're moving with the vehicles, when they get the particular roadblock, everybody will slow down and they have to be checked by the security personnel yes. one by one as they move. Okay. So that common measure may not be common to us because you have to control this security, uh, this criminal criminalities. You must have a strict measure to assess them, to check them, to identify whom they are. So through those blocks, you can be able to know, okay, we have these vehicles that bypass by this time, look at the corners or the mix of that very vehicles. Okay, you can quickly say, okay, I identify that this driver looks like this. Yes. Whether if it's a female driver or a female male driver. driver. Whether the person is customized or not. Whether the person is fair or dark. Whether the person is fair or dark or concerning the compression of the person. Yes. So we having roadblocks in our society is a good one that we should not do without. I encourage you. I for having it today.